good afternoon. Uh, one over two. So good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming to City Hall this afternoon. I'm Mayor Rick Goldring. With me is our General Manager of Development Infrastructure, Scott Stewart, who's been heading up the operation from a city operational point of view. Um, as you know, we were hit with significant rainfall last night. Well, we had, uh, to set the context, we had about two months of rainfall within about a three or four hour period. Uh, there was a cell, a storm cell that went from basically northwest Burlington to southeast Burlington. Um, the area, I would suggest, uh, east of Guelph Line has been hit harder. Uh, there's been some, some damage uh, just south of Upper Middle Road. There's been some damage certainly in the southern part of the city, uh, around New Street. It's been very, very significant. I want to let you know that this is a, both a city of Burlington issue as well as a Halton region issue. And we are working very, very hard together. Uh, to do the best we can in, in reaching out to citizens and responding accordingly. Um, we're encouraging our residents to call 311, um, especially if they have an issue around sanitary sewer backup, because there are a number of homes that have cross connections um, where the sanitary sewer can be backed up as a result of stormwater uh, infiltration. Um, the city has been assessing the damage across the city and will report back. Uh, the focus initially has been on some roads. Uh, there's certainly an issue on Bluff Line, uh, north of Dundas, and an issue on Cedar Springs, uh, north of Dundas as well. The issue on Bluff Line will take maybe a week to fix, we understand, but uh, that's preliminary at this stage. Um, we're also looking at uh, the damage around our creeks. Obviously our creeks are a, a big tool as far as dealing with stormwater management, so our Capital Works Department is out looking at all the creeks, and as well as our Roads and Parks Maintenance Department is looking at uh, the parks uh, within the city, not just the roads. We expect that most of our parks will be operational tonight, some may not. Um, so we've been looking at the damage to the bridges and parks, as well as cleaning up the roads and trees and debris. Uh, I encourage people to check the city's website at burlington.ca for information, as well as the Halton Region website at halton.ca. And we obviously will provide additional updates as they are available, primarily on the website, uh, but also through our media department here at uh, of the city. So Scott, did you want to add into that? Uh, well, just, I'll just add that we'll uh, continue to look for residents to give us updates to 311. So if there's things that their eyes are uh, they're out or we're not in all the locations, we're certainly doing the assessment along all of our creeks and parks and those sort of things where you would expect us to be. Uh, this Early this morning we've been out and about and doing that and we'll, we'll have a further, we just finished our EOC now, and we'll have a further operational meeting this afternoon on just what we're hearing and what we're seeing out there. But if the residents call in at 311, those calls are being triaged, if you will, to, as, as the mayor has mentioned, the sewage in the basement, two other things, overland flow routes, and anything that we're seeing out in the road around. So we would certainly encourage the residents to make sure they're in contact with us. We've confirmed the issue with the Union Gas in the northern part of the city is now behind us. That's been corrected. And at this point, so far, we've only had one home in the entire city that's been shut down with concerns over hydro and I'll say water sewage in the basement and the concerns that might happen there. So there's only been one in, in whatever our number is, about 120,000 households. So those are good news within all of that. And uh, that's all I can update at this point. 